Hi friends and welcome to our crafting video. We are going to be making basketball pictures this week. We're going to be doing some Q-tip painting. So in your kits, you should have a Q-tip, a picture of a basketball printed on cardstock. That's a thicker paper, a piece of blue construction paper, and some orange paint. The things you will need from your own home are scissors, a glue stick, and a marker or crayon for you to draw the bouncing dots with. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is paint our basketball. So you're going to need your orange paint. You may not need all of this orange paint. So you're going to dip your Q-tip in and dot your basketball. And you're going to do the whole basketball with dots. You can do them fast, you can do them slow. You're going, Miss Heather, why are you doing basketballs for this craft? Well, it's March Madness time, friends. We've got basketball games going on, and you know the, the Wisconsin Badgers, UW Madison's Badgers, are playing a basketball game. So I thought it would be fun for us to do a basketball craft. And in fact, once you're done painting, maybe you need to take a basketball break because you're gonna wanna let that dry once you're done painting. Of course, we'll cover up our paint. So we're gonna let that dry. And then, once it has dried, you're going to cut out with your scissors, or a grown-up can cut it out for you too. You're gonna cut out your basketball. You can bubble cut. You don't have to do exactly on the lines. Miss Heather's trying to get on the lines, but she's also trying to keep it the camera shot here. Cut out my basketball, so it's all cut out now. Put those over there. And we have our blue piece of paper now. Miss Heather has been handling this while well, it's still kind of wet, but you're going to want to put some glue onto your basketball or onto your blue paper, whichever is easiest for you. Because my paper is still a little wet, I'm going to go ahead and just put my glue onto the paper directly and try to make it big enough for my basketball. Now we have to put our basketball down now. The basketball is wet so I'm going to use my spare paper to push it down so I don't end up painted like my basketball. But hopefully yours will be dry so that you are able to just use your fingers to push it down. Now we have our basketball on our paper. The last thing we need to do is basketballs don't just hit the ground and lay flat. If they do, you don't have enough air in them. But they bounce. So we're going to draw some bouncing lines. And how we do that is we do dashes. I 
like that for basketball lines. Grown-ups, you could even use a pencil and draw those lines for them and then have them trace over that if that's easier. And this is our basketball craft for this month's craft kit. Keep your eyes peeled because we're going to have another craft kit in April. Now that I've got the fantastic Miss Stacy who's been helping me out put together, helping me put these kits together. I'd love to see pictures of what you create. Enjoy and I will catch you next time.